Well, Ria and Kamal, it really was warm and humid across Trinidad and Tobago today. But those showers and thunderstorms didn't really pop up as we expected because of that Saharan dust. Now, generally, rainfall in the Caribbean and across much of the world is convective in nature, meaning moisture has to transfer from the ground all the way up in the atmosphere. But when it encounters a dry layer, the moisture doesn't really go through the atmosphere as effectively and that limits showers and thunderstorms. Now today we had that Saharan dust move across Trinidad and Tobago and that generally resides between 5,000 and 15,000 feet well above ground. So it could be humid where we are, but up in the air it is quite dry. Now we did see quite a lot of cloudy activity across Trinidad and Tobago today because we have this large shear line and a trough system to our north and west. And that's still lingering through tomorrow. We have another surge of moisture with this band of clouds moving towards Trinidad and Tobago. So we could see one or two isolated showers and even the odd thunderstorm towards the morning through the afternoon. But really no significant rainfall because that Saharan dust is not only going to be here tomorrow, but will be sticking with us through the weekend. Now looking at the forecast for us overnight tonight, generally a variably cloudy night with that hazy sky sticking around. So sensitive groups need to continue taking precautions not only tonight, but over the next several days. Forecast models are showing isolated showers developing towards the early morning across Tobago and then eastern and southern parts of Trinidad with the low chance of an isolated thunderstorm. So that could produce some locally heavy rain and trigger some street or flash flooding as well as gusty winds and lightning. So we'll be watching out for that towards the early morning. But as we head through the day tomorrow, variably cloudy and hazy throughout the day and that sunshine should be returning by the evening and we will also be seeing winds pick up as we head through the weekend. Now that means if you're heading to the beaches, we will be seeing seas agitate. So right now waves are up to two meters in open waters, but it could get up to 2.5 meters by Saturday into Sunday. In sheltered areas near one meter and choppy, because we have these larger than usual swells moving in, so that means larger than usual waves in our near shore bays and beaches, especially on our eastern and northern coastline. So follow the advice of lifeguards and small craft operators to exercise a little bit of extra caution. Now, what to expect as we head through the next couple of days into the Eid weekend? Well, a straight thunderstorm towards tomorrow morning, then gradually becoming hazy and partly cloudy through Saturday. We could see another brief shower or two on Saturday, but Sunday, Monday, and into Tuesday, the sunshine and breezy conditions retain very much different to this start of this week. Back to you.